Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll show you how to remotely control another iPhone, iPad or Mac using FaceTime. With iOS 18, iPadOS 18 and macOS Sequoia, FaceTime introduces a pretty cool feature that allows you to remotely control someone else's screen during a one-on-one -on -one FaceTime video or audio call. This feature is perfect for assisting someone with an issue or demonstrating how to use an app or specific features. That's it, let's get started. So first off, let's learn how to request remote control using FaceTime on your compatible iDevice. If someone is setting their screen during a FaceTime call, you can request to take control of it. But before that, make sure that both participants must be using iOS 18, iPadOS 18 or macOS Sequoia 15 or later. And then you have to initiate a one-to-one -one FaceTime call with the person sharing their screen. And then you have to tap the window displaying the shared screen. After that, tap the remote control icon. And once the other participant accepts your request, you can interact with their screen. You will now be able to tap, swipe or use the on-screen keyboard within the apps, thereby making it easy to guide or assist them. And now it's time to learn how to accept a remote control request in the FaceTime app. If someone requests to control your screen, a notification will appear in the FaceTime app. Then you have to tap on the allow option to grant control. It's worth pointing out that only approve requests from trusted individuals as they will have the ability to perform actions such as opening apps, changing settings, and sending messages. However, certain sensitive functions like managing Apple ID, Face ID or Touch ID are restricted. Face ID and Touch ID are also disabled during remote control sessions. You can still interact with your screen while it is being remotely controlled and your actions will always take priority. And then it's time to learn how to decline a remote control request using the FaceTime app. If you receive a request to control your screen and don't want to allow it, you just have to tap on Don't Allow option on the notification. Screen sharing will continue and the other participant can still annotate your screen to guide you without taking control. And finally, it's time to learn how to stop the remote control in the FaceTime app. You can end a remote control session at any time. If you are sharing your screen, just tap on the stop button at the bottom of the screen sharing window. And if you are controlling someone's screen, just tap on the remote control icon at the bottom of the screen. Ending the FaceTime call will also automatically terminate the remote control and screen sharing session. And that's all there is to it. By leveraging this all new feature, you can offer or receive remote assistance seamlessly. Make sure to always remember to use it responsibly and only allow trusted individuals to access your screen. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you up with the next one. Till then, take care and bye-bye.